Molweni, 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 Molweni. This morning, I am reminded of the word in Isaiah that says, I, the Lord, will make it happen at the right time. Um, this word comes so strong when I think of our plans. Most of the time, we all dream, we plan, and expect our plan to go accordingly. Sometimes we commit our plans to God. Sometimes we don't even commit our plans to God. But we will be just doing our own plans. Because as the word says, um, the plans are for a person. But God directs them. Meaning God approves the plans. And it, I must say, it's very much important to plan. Because when you plan, it means that at least you have something, you have a blueprint, you know where you are headed. You know what you are, want to achieve. You have a time frame, you, you, you have every little detail about what you want to do. Which is very good and nice. But the word of God says, I, the Lord, will make it happen at the right time. Um, I am reminded um, that many people do apply to for jobs. Um, for tuitions at school, um, apply for placement at any sector, business sector. But God will permit only those that will have to go through at that specific time. So in all that, it doesn't really mean that you are rejected when or your plans will not be successful and all that. Um, sometimes God would want to, to give you a lesson. Um, one of the lessons would be patience, that you, you learn to be patient along the way. Because um, you may not be accepted on the first round. You may not be accepted at all. And doubts will overwhelm you. you uh, fear of being rejected and all that. But God says, I have greater plans for you. And surely he can never put you on anything where his grace cannot reach you. So sometimes um, God really wants to, to teach you a lesson that I want to test your patience. What will you be doing in the process of waiting? Let's say you receive your feedback that says, sorry, you have been rejected. Sorry, you, you, um, we, we, are, we are full. Sorry, you did not meet the requirement. But going back to the word that says, at the right time, I, the Lord, will make it happen. So I'm just reminded that when the first group, for instance, has been accepted, and surely in your heart and mind you will say, okay, hey, I did not make it. Um, maybe it was not meant for me. It was not the right time. But God says I will do it at the right time. You may, when you have forgotten about all the processes and have you have made peace about the journey and all that, but um, you would understand that God has a greater plan. You may receive a call saying that you have been accepted. You may receive an email saying that you've been accepted. You have, may receive a call saying that congratulations, um, you have received this placement whatsoever. So that simply means sometimes we should not panic or else um, condemn or, or feel bad about some of the decisions made. God has always plans for us. Um, God always has plans for each and every one. God has plans for each and every one of us. And then, um, as God has plans, he can never put you on something where his grace cannot reach. So one of, maybe, one of his plans would be for you to wait. Just be patient enough. Patient a little longer. As soon as the right time comes, then God will change rules. Some people who have maybe um, taken some space which you believe that you were supposed to, to, or you deserved, or you were supposed to get, then uh, may want to cancel, 
or they may want to not be part of the whatsoever that you applied for and you may now receive a congratulation message email or a call and that would be to say i the lord will make it at the right turn so please do not um, lose hope do not give up in the process do not give up on something that you know at times it's quite important to always even check on people um, that you have sent your applications to just to check the progress just to check if you have received anything um, or have they made any changes on their decision making or have they re can they reevaluate um, the criteria or whatsoever that also shows a commitment that you are really serious about what you want so guys please do not lose hope please do not give up on god he is greater than anything his word says ask anything in my name and i shall do so in the process of waiting even if you are rejected you can continue to praise god you can continue to ask what you want because as you you share and um ask god he answers and it's a guarantee that whatever that you ask in his name he shall do but unfortunately the word does not indicate when that's why it says that i the lord will make it happen at the right time so basically when the time comes the lord will make it happen be blessed saints and have yourselves a blessed day further